Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So if you didn't catch the last episode, I highly, highly recommend that you go back and watch it, because the endgame crisis kicked off in earnest in the last episode, and uh, you'll miss out on sort of the story as to what's happening with that. Um, so today, we are in Finsterwald, having just defeated a pack of orcs uh, not far from the village. Um, we don't actually need to return here, but I figured we would do it anyways because we have a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, so we may as well get rid of it there, but we need to uh, return all the way back to Alderfest in order to collect our pay for the quest. So um, let's go ahead and take care of that. But we need to keep our eyes out because the undead are rising um, and we are going to be probably catching or running into them at, like uh, every, every turn, basically. So let's get in here and... Um, their prices are going to be pretty terrible, so I don't know that it's worth trying to buy anything. Actually, their wood is fairly cheap. Uh, but yeah, all this orc stuff can go. Um, yeah. I'm actually going to keep some of this type of stuff around, because we're going to need all of the, like, swords and things that we can get. Um, hand axes will be really useful against the undead, but uh, swords and, like, Blunt weapons like that will also be useful. How many swords do I have? Uh, I've got three there. Someone's also got one equipped as a secondary. And then these make a couple more. Hmm. I'm going to sell these two. And I'll keep these. And uh, I'm going to grab some grain. And both of these quality woods. I might be able to turn a profit on those. Not that I'm like super concerned about that right now. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and be on our way back to where we can actually get paid. So Alderfest, here we come. Uh, hopefully we don't get attacked by undead coming out of the ground on our way there. Okay, so here we are, and just as the sun comes down, luckily, so we can get in here and actually uh, buy and sell stuff just before they close up shop for the day. Um, I don't think there was anything in the marketplace that we were looking for. Actually, some ammunition wouldn't hurt. Um, let's see. I'm going to sell two of these woods for a, a nice profit there. Um, food would not be unwelcome. But I think ammunition is going to be something that we need. Also, this stuff would have sold better here. I probably should have brought it back all the way here with me. Um, right. So. Let's grab two of these. Maybe some tools. I think we'll be okay without tools. The food here is too expensive, so I'm not going to bother with that. I did want this helmet, though, so I'm going to grab it. And uh, I think in return, I will maybe get rid of one more of those. I'm not sure. But let's uh, let's get this stuff equipped. We also have two level ups, so let's take care of that today, or like right now as well. So Alexander, you get the kettle helm that's slightly better than the thing that you're wearing. And so all of my Pullmen now have Kettle Helms, just to make it a little bit easier to distinguish. So Bram is now level 9. Uh, not a great roll there, but I guess it could have been worse. Um, I'm going to give him 3 melee skill, 4 range skill, and 3 range defense. And then for his perk, he's already got Battle Forge. He does not yet have a weapon specialty, but that's because I'm not sure what weapon I'm going to leave him with. So I don't want to commit to anything yet and waste a perk on it. I could give him Berserk. Anybody except the Spearmen are probably fine with Berserk, but I don't know if that's the best skill to give him right now. Uh, Backstabber wouldn't hurt. Uh, Colossus is probably also a good idea. Um, yeah, let's do that. It's about time. So that'll get him up to almost 90 health and then it'll make him more resistant to uh, severe injury. Also, um, I didn't mean to do that. That was a misclick, but I guess I'll buy back some grain now that I am short on food. What I had meant to do was uh, get his uh, skirmishing weapons equipped and then uh, of course I need to level up this guy still. So, let's see, Ferdinand, you're going to be a student, um, 
gonna give you four range skills to make you a little bit more competent as an archer. You also really, really need hit points and fatigue. And then I'll probably take your sword from you because I might need that. It's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Um, in return, you can have this. Damn it. <laughs> I keep clicking. I keep, I keep right clicking when I know I shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, I'll give him that so he can repair it. And um, I think Alexander might go back in for Arn. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, Ivar the patient, I would like to eventually get into the rotation here. I'll probably let him go in for Ferdinand. Um, Christopher is also healed, so he can get back in at any time. Maybe I'll give Vlad a break, but Vlad's not too happy. So I kind of need to keep him in. He's also our best archer, so I'm, I'm reluctant to take him out, but I need to keep leveling people up. Hmm. And then... You're, you're cool with being out, right? Yeah. These three are all good with sitting out. So it's just these three that I need to keep rotating. Um, but yeah, that looks good. So... That leaves me with a little bit of money left. I don't think we'll find anything at the armor for us, though. Yeah, unfortunately not. We could get a nice helmet upgrade, but that would be pretty much all of our money. 210, 90. That doesn't hurt vision, though. So that might be the best thing we can get for our archers. I don't know. I'm kind of fine with what they have now. It's not like they ever get hit in the head. Um... I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the bassinet. I think it just kind of looks weird. Like, the angle that it's drawn at doesn't really uh, do it any favors. So I'll probably just hold out for a better helmet somewhere else. Um, so with that, then, I guess we'll just be on our way. Um, maybe around at the tavern before we leave? There we go. Everybody's a little bit happier now. Um... Okay. No mention of a rare weapon, though, so I don't know if I'm that concerned about it. But we want to head to Schnellen, so let's be on our way there. Okay, so we're coming up just as the sun rises. Perfect timing. Uh, they do have work for us. We'll also check the marketplace just to be sure that we're not missing anything. Uh, I wouldn't mind some more grain, and that's a decent price on dried fruit, so we'll grab that as well. Let's sort everything, too, because it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, I kind of want to sell some more stuff. I just don't know what would be a good idea to get rid of. Mm, I'll keep everything for now, just to be safe. And there's really nothing else here that we need. Um, we've hired everybody that we need to hire, so what's this job? Uh, 400 crowns, I think it was transporting something. He's willing to budge a little bit. Otterndorf, that's pretty close. Uh, if nothing else, it would be worth doing just to move on to the next place. And then uh, this one is going to be more difficult. It wants me, they want me to defend Brunstad for, oh my god, for 6,000? Uh, not willing to budge. Travel to Brunstad in the east, defend against undead. Oh, crap. I need to think about that one. Whew. 6,000. Uh, part of that's going to be travel. So we can keep that in mind, but... I, I don't know. That... That might be too much. Let's go to Landsenberg and see if they've got anything else. The thing, though, is if we don't accept that, we might... Oh, crap. They're everywhere. This is concerning. Zombies, um, armored zombies, and legionnaires. Do I fight them? Like, that's the thing. I can't just let them run around, but at the same time, I can't be the only one defeating all these enemies. Huh. And they might be coming after me. I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Are they trying to engage me? Yes, they are. And yes, they did. Well, our spears are going to be useless against these guys, but they'll be effective against those, so I guess fine, whatever.
So this is a bit concerning in that uh, to this point we've basically been able to fight on our terms and it seems like moving forward that's going to be less true. Um, it seems like most of these parties can run us down so um, we'll probably end up fighting on their terms quite a bit which is not something that I am all that fond of doing. I'm going to move everybody up though so that we can have that high ground. No point in wasting it. And that will um, sort of break up their formation around that boulder. So yeah, move forward and then wait. If they want to charge us from, from that distance, then by all means go for it. I won't get my spear wall up, but they'll, they won't be able to get the first attack. That'll take them every AP that they have. Well, I, actually, I don't know. The Ancient Dead are kind of cheaty in the way that they work. Can you throw that far? Yes, you can. Nice. But yeah, luckily this is mostly zombies. I don't, I don't know why they went out of their way to engage us in this. It's not like they have any, you know, drastic chance of winning. It's a pretty... I mean, it's fair numbers-wise, and then I'm assuming there's like two or three of these guys. They're really the only threat. The zombies are just fodder. Uh, most of these zombies don't even have weapons. So yeah, they can try to bite through my kite shields if they want, but I don't think it's going to go all that well for them. I wouldn't mind recovering that headgear. Okay. I think it's only the two of them. Uh, hopefully they commit to here. Because I wouldn't mind Bram attacking them. But uh, I also want to make sure I put Jorah in the right spot. So I'm going to put Jorah here. And then apparently I've got to end his turn. Um, Ivar, feel free to shoot anybody you want. I don't know if it's worth killing him. It might be better to target somebody else. I don't want to waste arrows on these guys, though. It won't do anything. Shoot him. No, I guess not. Um, shoot at him. You might hit anybody in that area. Or you might hit him. That works, too. Uh, and then target that guy. He has decent armor. He'll be harder to take down. Okay, so now it's time to engage the spear wall. Um, you know what? I'm gonna raise them and then, uh, pass, not end their turn, but pass till the end, because, um, we might, it, like, say the line gets breached, uh, we could raise their shields before their turn ends or something. Yeah, that was not a very good shot. So, yeah, we'll do that and then wait. Uh, keep throwing at them, see what you get. Nice. Actually, I should throw axes at them, because the throwing axes are effective against these guys. Uh, Merrick needs to get his spear up, hopefully before that happens. Well, kill him quick, and then you might be able to do it. No? Alright, well that side's already breached. Uh, Casper is gonna be able to get his up at least. Okay, so Merrick's unfortunately compromised, but he's got high ground, so at least he's got that going for him. It'll be harder to uh, kill up there. Let's see, Bram. Who's going to be the harder one to kill? Uh, start working on him. That was unfortunate. But yeah, our spear wall is holding for the most part. Kali, you have to get your freaking axe out. That took the front of his face off. Okay, hopefully we can... Nope, we can't repel them. Yeah, that didn't work all that well. Uh, Jorah, if you wouldn't mind, start helping us out here. His his uh, armor was a little bit worse off. So, Sinric, um, end your turn like that. Because you can still spearwall the other people. And we'll see what happens. Um... I need you to land a hit here. Thank you. Let's see. Mieszko, step up and fire at that guy. That was pathetic. Vlad, move to here and shoot at anybody. 
Nice. Okay, Ivar, do the same. Cool, he's down. Merrick might be able to... No, he won't be able to get a shield up because this guy's going to move right there. Oh, no, he's going to test the spear wall for some stupid reason. What an idiot. Apparently they want to die. Maybe being a zombie is just so terrible that they want to go back to not being undead. Because he could have just stepped right here and not had to deal with a spear. Uh, move up and shoot somebody. Nice. So we've already dealt with five of them. Uh, the zombies will come back at least once. You can no longer spear wall, so get your shield up. And see if you can start doing some damage there. Unfortunately, we don't have any axemen in this area, so... Dealing with their shields is going to be difficult. It would be difficult anyways because they have uh, shield expert. But that's really the best way to get rid of them is to tear those shields down and then, um, you know, chip them or chip away at them. I could, I guess, step up to here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Why not? Start working on that shield. It's going to take a while. But we may as well get started now. Um, attack and then get your guard up. Yeah, unfortunately that's not going to happen over here, so they're going to have a rough time. But these two are probably our most stout defenders. So, I mean, if it's going to happen, it may as well be them. Alfred, get your axe out. Probably should have done that earlier, but whatever. And yeah, you just like cut his jaw open there or something. Alright, Bram. Get that flail ready and just let loose. We'll be a little bit more aggressive there. Okay, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. Jora, keep landing hits if you can. No luck there. Uh, Mieszko. I think you're better off just getting your uh, pike out. Because you would have had to reload and fire, so we. We would have only gotten one attack either way. We may as well use the, the melee weapon. Vlad, uh, finish him off. Nice. Alexander, you... Do you need to reload? You do. Okay, then get your axe out instead. And if you stepped into here, he can't attack you now, but you can also completely demolish that shield. And that's going to help us quite a bit. Uh, shoot that guy. Nice. Someone else is going to step in that spot, but at least he's already spearwalling it. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Keep him away. Keep him away. Uh, just keep doing that. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, you're finally able to do some real damage. And then, uh, yeah, just focus on him. He's the real threat here. That guy is not a threat at all. Um, I was hoping he would kill himself that turn. So one one light hit and then a block. I'm actually going to move Alfred in here so we can do something similar on this side. Uh, you can keep trying to bypass his guard if you want. I don't think you're going to have much success. Two hits to the head. Not that that really helps me. Casper, move forward and engage this guy. Just get it over with. damage there. Bram, swing away at him. Please get that kill. Nice. They won't come back. Uh, he's gonna push me away. Oh no, the zombie rising up pushed me away. And that guy's gonna come back too. And so is that guy. Wow, they're all gonna come back. Let's have Jorah wait for now. I don't see a target that I particularly like. Get rid of him. Um, let's have you get rid of this guy. I want to take those spots back. He's going to test my spear wall. I was hoping he'd try again. Um, let's see. Try to shoot him. See if you can get him. Nice. He's going to test the spear wall and kill himself. I don't think he'll be coming back from that. Alexander. Finish him. Uh, Merrick, 
Why don't you just engage at this point? There's no reason to play around anymore. Um, Callie, you can finish him off. Maybe move in here so that you can help with that shield. Sinric, you can go around and attack this guy. Uh, Casper, you got a one-on-one -on -one with him again. Please don't destroy his headgear. We were trying to recover that. Jacques, keep chipping away at him. Oh, a little bit of a hit there on Kali. Uh, I'm going to move this guy, this guy being Alfred, up and uh, take another swing at him. And Bram might be able to overcome his guard. He can, okay. Jora, feel free to kill this dude. Almost got him. Jora, put that guy back down. And then you got enough AP back from that kill that you can kill him too. Let's move Mieszko up and uh, get that kill. Berserk worked really well for him there. So far, um, it's been a pretty good investment for him. Um, I don't know if it would work as well on other characters, but he gets killed so consistently that uh, it's pretty nice to have. Alfred uh, leveled up. Nobody else did. We did uh, get a little bit of loot here. An ancient power shield. Okay. Let's uh, let's take care of that level up. Get your skirmishing weapons back out while we're at it. Um, you need fatigue badly. Resolve wouldn't hurt, but I think... Yeah, we'll go resolve and melee defense. And then for your perk, I will give you... Axe Mastery. Let's get everybody's skirmishing weapons back out. And, uh... We're gonna have to change up our strategy a little bit moving forward, because obviously running with this many ranged weapons isn't gonna really do anything. So... What we may have to end up doing is having, like, Alexander and Mieszko give up their crossbows for... Uh, throwing axes because at least those will be effective against the undead, but for now we'll stick with it We don't have enough throwing axes to do that. So it's kind of a moot point until we do um, How does this compare to a kite shield? I think it's roughly the same So it's heavier More balanced got it. So it's a little bit worse against range but a little bit better against melee So it's not bad, but it, it is heavier. So that's kind of the trade-off Yeah <clears throat> But we did get another sword. That's handy. And these are pretty good. They're roughly equivalent to arming swords. They're just a little bit uh, worse in terms of damage. So, anyway, we were headed to Landsenberg. I'm just going to let that one go. And uh, there is an armorer here. But I don't know that we'll have money to really accomplish anything there. Let's go ahead and sell that helmet. Um, I'll keep the shield. I don't see any reason to get rid of it. Because it is technically on the same tier as what we're using so it, it you know can serve as a, a backup if anything um let's sort this just so it's not super disorganized i'll grab some tools while we're here because they're a pretty good price and uh we're all right on food got another i should have grabbed this one i wish i had known it was there because that's a it's a way better price it is damaged but i don't mind repairing it so, in here, we do have more potential helmet upgrades. We could also grab a backup kite shield. I don't know. Also, is there any work? There's no work here, so that's a bit problematic. Let's see. Our morale could be better. So, I'm going to grab, I think, the extra kite shield. won't bother with a helmet upgrade at least not yet and then I'm going to go into the tavern and boost our morale a bit do you have any news about yeah this is what I wanted to hear about step far from here that's all it ever says how am I supposed to know what that means all right well regardless they have nothing for us there um, so I think we should head to Tiefenstad going this way rather than going around this way and then from Tiefenstad maybe across to Lutendok but we need to find some work we have money but it's only going to last us so long 
We need to make more so that we continue to upgrade. But yeah, like we, we want to be making money. And obviously, things aren't going so great. The undead are coming up out of the ground and kicking everybody's ass. And we don't want to allow that. But if they're not going to pay me to do it, I can't really afford to just, you know, handle it on my own. Alright, so they've got two jobs for us. Uh, there's also a temple here, but I don't think anybody's hurt. Yeah. We had to deal with our wounds the old-fashioned way. Uh, they've got some fish here. Let's grab some fish. Anything else? Uh, no. So let us take a look at this. Um, 580. That's not particularly great pay. Not willing to budge. To Brunstad. I might do that just because it's really, really close. Um, this is paying a little bit better. So about a thousand. Um, it looks like we're hunting down bandits. I wouldn't mind doing that. Let's, let's think about it for a second, though. I'm gonna check the time, because I don't know where we're at. That battle, I think, took up most of it. But, uh... Brunstad would be... Oh, that's further than I thought. I, I might skip that then. I'd rather head to Luton Dock, but we are going to maybe track down those bandits first. So, yeah, we are out of time. However, um, in the next episode, we'll grab that contract and see where the bandits are. We'll take them out and then uh, make our way to Luton Dock where hopefully we can find some work and then make our way up the uh, road here to hit all the different... Uh, house horn settlements. Um, hopefully, they'll give us some work regarding this endgame crisis because, uh, you know, again, I, I don't mind fighting the, fighting the undead and protecting people, but if they don't pay us to do it, it's hard to maintain our army. So, uh, yeah. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.